Hi guys! Welcome sa Engineered Math Channel. Sa video na to ay ituturo ko sa inyo ang types and graphs of functions. So kung gusto niyo itong matutunan, just keep on watching. Okay, so ngayon ay ituturo ko naman sa inyo kung ano-ano yung iba't ibang types ng functions at kung paano sila i-graph. So let's start with the basic function which is the linear function. F is a linear function if f of x is equal to mx plus b where m is not equal to 0. Okay, so pag sinabing linear function, ang form niya ay mx plus b. So, Obviously, ang graph niya ay isang line. So, ito yung sample graph natin for a linear function. So, f of x is equal to y is equal to mx plus b. So, just like on my video about notation of functions, so, di ba yung f of x equal din siya sa y? So, kaya, pwede natin i-graph yung equation nung function sa rectangular coordinate system kasi may mabubuo tayong x and y coordinate. Okay, so, Itong line na to, lahat ng points dito sa line na to, let's say itong mga points na to, nagsasatisfy or naglalay doon sa equation ng line na y equals mx plus b. Okay, by the way, yung m natin dito, siya yung slope, tapos yung b, siya yung y-intercept. Pag sinabing y-intercept, doon yung point kung saan nagtatouch yung line sa y-axis. So, obviously, ito yun, di ba? Kasi doon nagtatouch yung line sa y-axis. Tapos yung slope naman, siya yung sinatawag natin na inclination of the line with respect to the horizontal or rise over run. So, unit of rise per unit of run. So, for example, dito sa line natin, nag tayo ng isa at nag tayo ng isa pa kanan. So, therefore, ang slope mo ay 1 over 1 or 1. Okay, so example, let's graph f of x is equal to y is equal to 2x plus 4. Okay, so sa pag-graph natin ng functions, pwede tayong gumawa ng table of values. So, pwede kayo mag-assign ng value for x first and then isolve nyo yung y according dun sa equation. So, tulad ng ginawa ko, nag-assign ako ng value ng x na negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2, and then isasolve ko yung corresponding value of y dito. And then, magkakaroon kayo ng points na pwede nyo i-plot. So, kapag nasa line kayo, kapag line yung function nyo, kahit at least 2 points, pwede na makakabuo na kayo ng line kasi i-coconnect ko lang yung dalawang points na yon. Okay? So, obviously, itong f of x natin na 2x plus 4 is a line kasi it takes the form y equals mx plus b where m mo dito ay 2 and b mo ay 4. Para i-plot to, i-fill up natin yung table. So, if x is negative 2, what is y? So, subtract nyo yung negative 2 dito sa x. So, parang 2 times negative 2 is negative 4 plus 4 is 0. So, 0 yung y kapag x mo ay negative 2. So, meron ka ng isang point na negative 2, comma 0. Tapos kapag negative 1 naman, substitute nyo yung negative 1, we have 2 times negative 1 is negative 2 plus 4 is positive 2. So, therefore, when x is negative 1, y is positive 2. So, meron ka na uling point na negative 1, comma 2. Pag 0 naman si x, substitute nyo, so we have 2 times 0 is 0 plus 4 is 4. So, therefore, may point ka na 0, comma 4. At kung 1 naman, 2 times 1 is 2 plus 4 is 6. So, therefore, we have the point 1, comma 6. And for 2, we have 2 times 2 is 4. Plus 4 is 8. So, we have the point also 2, comma 8. So, ito yung mga points na pwede natin i-plot. Para mag-graph natin yung given function natin na 2x plus 4. So, graph natin. Negative 2, 0 is here. Negative 1, 2. So, we have here. 0, 4. So, we have here. Tapos, 1, 6. So, we have here. And then, 2, 8. So, we have here. Then, pwede nyo nang i-connect yung line. Then, then nag-graph na natin yung line na may equation na y is equal to 2x plus 4. Okay? 
So, according sa graph natin, tama di ba na yung y-intercept natin or b is 4? Kasi dito sa point na to, nagtatouch yung line natin, which is yung 0, 4 or yung y-intercept. Tapos yung slope naman natin, tama rin na to kasi kung masisimula tayo dito, let's say sa point na to, magra-rise siya ng 2, so 1, 2, and then magra siya pa ka na ng isa. So parang 2 over 1 or simply 2, which is yung m natin. Okay? Next, we have the constant function. So the function f is a constant function if f of x is equal to b, where b is any real number. So from the word itself, constant meaning yung value nung f of x natin ay constant lang, hindi nagbabago. Actually, this constant function f of x is a special case of the linear function mx plus b, where yung m mo lang dito ay 0, tapos meron kang value ng b. So di ba kapag m mo ay 0, parang 0 times x, so parang mawawala yung x, so parang f of x is equal to b na lang. So therefore, line din siya, yun nga lang, Particularly, isa siyang horizontal line, like this one. So, kahit anong value mo ng x, hindi magbabago yung y. Constant lang na equal siya sa b. Okay, so kapag constant function, automatic horizontal line yung graph niya. So, for example, graph f of x is equal to y is equal to 5. Okay, so, Pwede ulit tayong gumawa ng table of values. So, mag-assign kayo ng value for x. Let's say, this time, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2. And then, isubstitute nyo yung corresponding y kapag sinubstitute nyo dun sa equation yung bawat x. But obviously, dahil nga constant function tayo, wala tayong pake sa magiging value natin for y kahit pabaguhin pa natin yung mga x, which is constant lang dapat na 5. Okay? Kasi pag sinubstitute nyo naman tong x, Dito na negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2. Wala naman tayo sa substitute dito sa equation. Kasi naka-equal talaga siya sa 5 lang. So therefore, lagi mong i-fill up dito kapag constant function ay kung ano yung given constant natin dun sa function which is 5. So therefore, pag gin natin to, so we have negative 2 dito, tapos 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So lagi dito, negative 2, 5, negative 1, 5, 0, 5. 1, 5, and 2, 5. So, pag inrap nyo, horizontal line lang. Okay? Which is, yung y-intercept nga natin dito ay yung 5, which is yung constant. Tapos, kapag kinunsila natin yung slope, m natin is 0. Okay? Next, we have identity function. The function f is identity if f of x is equal to x. Okay? So, bakit sinawag siyang identity? Kasi, kung mamapansin nyo, yung equation niya ay yung f of x ay equal sa x or f of x is equal to y is equal to x. So, yung value natin for f of x or y ay the same lang doon sa kung ano man yung value natin ng x. So, kaya identity sila. So, this identity function is also a special case of linear function mx plus b wherein your b mo is 0 tapos yung m mo laging 1. So, parang 1 times x plus 0, f of x. So, parang f of x is equal to x. Okay, so line pa rin siya. So, madali lang i-plot yung identity function kasi kapag naggumawa ka ng table of values, kukopihin mo lang yung magiging uh, value ng y mo for a certain value of x. So, let's say, ang mga values ko ay negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2. So, yung automatic na value ng y mo, kapareho lang din nung mga x mo kasi nga identity. So, therefore, kung x is negative 2, substitute mo dito, automatic y mo is negative 2 din. Pag negative 1, negative 1 din. Pag 0, 0. Kapag 1, 1. Kapag 2, 2. So, therefore, ang form mo lagi nung coordinate ay pareho yung x and y niya. So, for example, plot na natin to Negative 2 kama negative 2. So, diba dito yon Tapos, negative 1 kama negative 1. Ito. 0, 0, ito, 1, 1, ito, 2, 2, ito. So, tama yung plot nung given nating function na ito. So, lagi siyang nagpa-pass through the origin. So, di ba, laging na nasa origin siya. Okay? So, it is the identity function. Next, we have the quadratic function. So, the function f is a quadratic function if f of x is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c. 
Okay, so kung kanina, meron tayong linear function wherein, kung mapapansin nyo, yung form yun na mx plus b, yung highest exponent natin doon sa variable natin na x or independent, or independent variable ay 1 lang. So, this time, kapag quadratic na, meron na tayong form na ax squared plus bx plus c kung saan yung highest exponent ay 2. Okay? So, sa quadratic function, ito yung form niya. Meron tayong numerical coefficients na a for the variable with exponent 2, tapos b for the variable with exponent 1, at c for constant. Okay, so it takes the form f of x is equal to y is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c. So, ang graph niya ay parabola. So, hindi na siya line, parang curve na siya. Okay? So, ganun din, kapag mag-graph tayo ng uh, quadratic function, pwede rin tayong gumawa ng table of values. So, for example, graph f of x is equal to y equals x squared plus x plus 1. So, dito, nag-assign ako ng values for x na negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2, 3. And then, isasolve natin yung corresponding value ng y at a certain value of x. So, let's say na negative 3. So, sabi natin yung negative 3 sa x. So, parang negative 3 squared is 9 plus negative 3 plus 1. So, we have 9 plus negative 3 plus 1 is, is positive 7. Okay? Next, kung negative 2 naman. So, sabi natin yung ulit. Negative 2 squared plus negative 2 plus 1. So, we have 4 plus negative 2 plus 1. So, we have 4 minus 2 plus 1 is 3. So, therefore, y is 3 when x is negative 2. Next, pag negative 1 naman. So, negative 1 squared plus negative 1 plus 1. So, we have 1 plus negative 1 plus 1 or simply 1. Next, kapag 0. 0 squared plus 0 plus 1 is simply 0 plus 0 plus 1 or 1. Kapag 1, sabi natin nyo, so 1 squared plus 1 plus 1 is 1 plus 1 plus 1 is 3. Okay, kapag 2, so 2 squared plus 2 plus 1, we have 4 plus 2 plus 1 or simply 7 then. Okay, kapag 3 naman, so 3 squared plus 3 plus 1, we have 9 plus 3 plus 1 or simply 13. Okay, so... Itong mga value na nakuha ko, sinasitot ko lang dito ha, sa x squared plus x plus 1, yung bawat x, and then masolve nyo yung y. So, pwede nyo nang i-graph. So, meron tayong negative 3, 7 na points. So, parang dito siya, di ba? Okay, so i-plot na natin yung mga coordinates natin. So, meron tayong negative 3, 7. So, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So, ito. Negative 2, 3. So, 1, 2, then 1, 2, 3, so ito. Negative 1, comma 1, so negative 1, and then 1, ito. Tapos 0, 1, so 0, and then 1, ito. 1, 3, so 1, 1, 2, 3, ito. 2, 7, so 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Then 3, 13, so 1, 2, 3, then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So, dito may gimalaya. So, pag... Kinonect natin yung mga points na to, parang ganito siya. Parabola. Okay? So, mapapansin nyo, itong points na to, itong dalawa, hindi ko in-straight. Kasi, meron pa tayong dapat point in between sa kanila. Kasi yung tinatawag natin na vertex nung parabola. Hindi lang siya integer kasi, uh, puro integer yung sinet nating values dito, di ba? Which is, in our case, hindi integral value yung vertex niya kasi summer siya dito. Yun yung pinatawag nating vertex kung saan siya yung pwedeng maging maximum or minimum point nung parabola. So tulad nito, ito yung vertex natin which is yung origin. So ito yung minimum point nung parabola kasi opening upward siya. Kapag downward naman, siya yung maximum point nung parabola. Okay, so ma dids Malalaman nyo kung upward or downward yon sa sign nung A nyo dito. Kapag negative yung A, downward, so maximum yung vertex. Kapag positive yung A, upward, so minimum yung vertex. Okay? Next, we have the absolute value function. So, the function f is an absolute value function if for all real number x, f of x is equal to absolute value of x, where absolute value of x is equal to x for x is greater than or equal to 0 
and negative x for x is less than 0. So, yung absolute value function, as we all know, di ba yung absolute value ng isang number ay siya yung uh, value ng number without considering the sign. So, laging uh, positive yung kinoconsider natin kapag absolute value or walang sign. So, ito yung definition ng absolute value function. So, obviously, yung, so, in notation, gumagamit tayo ng symbol na dalawang line kung saan naka-enclose yung x natin sa loob. So, meron tayong dalawang value. So, sabi, kapag daw yung x mo ay greater than or equal to 0, equal yung absolute value function sa x. Kapag x daw is less than 0, yung value mo ng absolute value function is negative x. So, parang dalawa yung value niya. Depende doon sa magiging value mo nung x or nung domain. So, nahati siya sa dalawa. So, para dito sa x is greater than or equal to 0, so ito yung portion ng x-axis natin, di ba? Tapos kapag x is less than 0, ito yung portion ng x-axis natin. So ito yung magiging graph natin for x is less than 0, tapos ito yung magiging graph natin for x is greater than or equal to 0. Which is itong equation natin na to ay equal siya sa x, so parang y is equal to x, tapos ito namang equation natin na to ay para dito sa x is less than 0 na interval So, y is equal to negative x. So, parang dalawang line sila, di ba? So, dito parang identity function. Tapos dito, identity function na opposite. Instead na positive yung sign nung y, negative lang. Okay? So, pag pilnat nga natin to, itong absolute value function, considering this two separate value of absolute value, absolute value of function with respect to sa range nung with, the, with respect doon sa interval nung domain natin na x, so let's say itong 0, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, tapos 1, 2, 3, 4. So from here, 0 to dito, ito yung ipaplot natin, yung identity, ba? So y is equal to x. So prang, pag 0 si x, 0 din si y, kasi identity tayo, ba? Kapag 1 si x, 1 din si y. Kapag 2 si x, 2 si y. Pag 3, 3 din. Pag 4, 4. Okay? Kapag negative 1 naman so so kapag negative 1 naman magiging opposite nung sign nung x so parang negative of negative 1 parang positive 1 na siya so positive 1 tapos kapag negative 2 negative 2 times negative 2 pa kasi nga ito yung equation niya magiging positive 2 and so on positive 3 positive 4 so kaya nga di ba kapag absolute value function kahit ba negative yung ilagay mong value doon sa x mo or sa number mo, magiging output niya ay positive. So, kaya true na kapag negative yung x mo, dapat positive pa rin yung y mo. So, therefore, lahat noong value mo nung range o nung y ay, ay positive lahat. Nasa upper portion nung y-axis. Wala dito sa lower. Okay? So, so ito yung graph ng absolute value function. Para siyang letter V. Okay? Next, we have the piecewise functions. So, what is a piecewise function? So, it is a function defined by multiple subfunction, each subfunction applying to a certain interval of the main function's domain, a subdomain. Okay, so, pag piecewise functions, ibig sabihin daw to, isang function mo ay separate into subfunctions. So, so, pwedeng at least two or more. So, for example, dito sa case natin, Itong pinakamain function natin na f of x or y ay nahati sa tatlong function. Itong f sub 1 of x, f sub 2 of x, saka f sub 3 of x. Tapos, each function ay merong corresponding interval kung saan yun yung magiging value ng function natin. For example, dito sa f sub 1 of x, yun yung value ng f of x mo kung x mo ay less than negative 1. Kapag yung f sub 2 of x mo naman, yun yung value ng f of x mo kapag yung uh, domain mo ay yung x mo ay in between negative 1 tsaka 2 tapos inclusive tapos kapag yung x mo naman ay greater than 2 yung magiging value ng f of x mo ay itong f of f sub 3 of x so parang piece by piece piece y function so each separate sub function ay dapat may corresponding silang sub interval kung saan lang sila maia apply okay so, parang dun sa absolute value function natin kanina, makukonsider din siya as piecewise function. Kasi, yung absolute value natin ay nahati sa dalawang value, which is yung x saka negative x. 
at a certain interval. So, kapag x, dapat daw yung x may greater than or equal to 0. Kapag negative x, dapat x mo is less than 0. So, absolute value function is also a type of piecewise function. So, kung i-analyze natin tong figure natin, kapag yung x mo daw ay less than negative 1, so, wala tayong equal value, ha? So, parang, dito sa pula natin, itong negative 1 na to, circle. Parang sa inequality, di ba? Kapag wala kang line underneath, open circle yung gagamitin mo. Kapag daw yung value mo ng x ay less than negative 1, so ito, yung interval na yon yung magiging value mo nung function ng f of x ay itong f of 1 of x. Itong f sub 1 of x, which is a line, di ba? Parang ganito siya. Di ba? Line siya. Going down pababa. Tapos, kapag daw, this time, kapag yung interval mo ay negative 1, less than or equal to x, less than or equal to 2, parang in between sa negative 1 tsaka sa 2, yung x, inclusive. So, therefore, magkakaroon ka ng uh, value na f sub 2 of x. So, inclusive yung negative 1 tsaka negative 2 doon sa domain. So, di ba ito yung range na yun, negative 1 up to positive 2. Right? So, magiging value mo ay itong f sub 2 of x, which is just a constant function. Right? Kasi straight line lang siya. So, therefore, dalagyan mo to ng closed circle. Okay? Para dun sa f sub 2 of x. Now, kapag x is greater than 2 naman, so, dito ka titingin. So, from 2 pataas, kasi yun yung interval mo ng domain, di ba? Ito yung magiging value mo ng f of x. Itong f sub 3 of x, which is, pag titignan natin, parabola siya, di ba? Okay? So, therefore, eto yung kabuang function ng f of x natin. It is a combination of linear function, constant function, and a parabola with a certain subinterval of the domain for each function. Okay? Okay, let's solve another example for piecewise function. So, sabi, let f be the function defined by f of x is equal to negative 3 if x is less than or equal to negative 1 equals to 1 if x Negative 1 is less than x is less than or equal to 2. And 4 if x is greater than 2. So obviously, piecewise well siya kasi meron tayong tatlong value nung f of x at certain interval of the domain or x. So, unahin muna natin itong x is less than or equal to negative 1. So, equal siya sa negative 3. So, obviously, constant function kasi negative 3 lang yung value nung f of x natin. At interval, x is less than or equal to negative 1. So, parang gamit tayong pula. So, kapag yung x mo raw ay negative 1, pagbaba, so dito yung negative 1, diba? Pagpagadun daw yung x mo, anong value mo nung f of x? Negative 3. So, ito siya. 1, 2, 3. Ito, diba? Ito, diba? Negative 3. Tapos, kapag negative 2, negative 3 din. Kapag negative 3, Negative 3 din. Kapag negative 4, negative, negative 3 din. And so on. So, parang ganito siya. Straight line, di ba? Base din dun sa, uh, na-discuss ko doon sa constant function. Ito yung negative 3. Tapos, dapat itong negative 1 mo, closed circle. Kasi meron kang line underneath doon sa less than symbol. Okay? So, ito yung graph natin for negative 3. When x is less than or equal to negative 1. Next, kapag... 1 naman daw, dapat in between yung negative 1, yung x sa negative 1, tsaka 2. Which is yung negative 1, hindi na inclusive. Tapos yung negative, tapos yung 2 ay in inclusive. So, therefore, gamit tayo ng blue. So, sa, sa, sa interval na mula dito sa negative 1, papunta sa 2. So, 1, 2. So, ito inclusive tong 2. Ito hindi. Dapat daw, yung value natin ng f of x ay 1. So, saan ba yung 1? Ito, di ba? So, therefore, negative 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, tapos 2, 1. So, constant function din. So, ito yung graph nyan. Okay? So, itong negative 1 dito ay open circle. Ha? Kasi nga, sabi dito sa interval, wala siyang line underneath. Ito lang, 2 yung may line underneath. So, kaya, closed circle siya. So, parang line siya na ganyan. Okay? Tapos next, dun tayo sa x is greater than 2. So this time, kapag greater than 2, gamit tayo ng color green. So mula dito sa 2, papunta sa positive infinity na. Alam naman na natin mag-represent uh, kapag inequality, di ba? So 4 lang daw yung value niya lagi. So saan yung 4? So 1, 2, 3, 4. So ito, di ba? So kapag 3 na, 4 din. Tapos kapag 
4, 4 then kapag 5, 4 then and so on hanggang positive infinity laging 4 yung value. Okay, so ito ay 1, ito ay 4, ito ay negative 3. So ito yung graph niya. So ito parang ganyan. Tapos ito tapos ito. Okay, piecewise function. Okay? Next we have let g be the function defined by g of x is equal to 3x minus 2 if x is less than 1 and x squared if x is greater than or equal to 1. Okay, so obviously, piecewise function siya wherein meron tayong dalawang function na linear function 3x minus 2 kapag daw x is less than 1 at quadratic function x squared kapag daw x ay greater than or equal to 1. So dito muna tayo sa 3x minus 2 kapag x less than 1. Sa so, gamit akong pula. So, itong 1 natin, pababa, siya yung magiging value natin para dito sa 3x minus 1 for x. Tapos, yung 1, hindi kasama kasi wala tayong line underneath. So, mag-start muna tayo sa 1. Plot natin kung ano yung value ng g of x kapag 1. So, when x is 1, sabi nyo dito, we have 3 times 1 is 3 minus 2 is 1. So, we have 1 comma 1. So, so, ang gagamitin nyo ay hindi closed circle kasi nga not inclusive yung uh, one natin dito sa interval sa open. Okay? Next, pili pa tayong isang point kasi line siya diba at least 2 point kailangan natin. So, sa interval pa rin na to, 0 kasi kasama yung 0 sa interval na to. So, sabi nyo yung 0. 3 times 0 is 0 minus 2 is negative 2. So, meron kang point na 0, negative 2. So, so 0 tapos negative 2. So, ito. Okay, so, eto, line na siya na pwede nyong idugtong tong dalawa hanggang extended up to negative infinity. Kasi, yung interval mo nung x mo yan ay less than negative 1, less than 1, which is nag-extend din sa negative direction. Okay, sorry, itong 0, negative 2 na point dapat solid na yan, ha? Kasi inclusive na yung domain natin na 0 dito. Okay? So, parang ito, line na lang na ganyan. Next, Doon naman tayo sa x is greater than or equal to 1. x squared. So, this time, inclusive na yung 1. So, pag ginap natin, pag pilat natin yung uh, value ng g of x at x1, dapat closed circle siya. So, kapag 1 daw si x, ano, si, ano value ng g of x natin? Which is x squared dapat, diba? So, 1 squared, which is 1 also. So, parang, eto. 1, 1 din. Ngayon, nag-coincide siya dun sa hindi inclusive part nung first function natin. Which is okay lang. So, therefore, dito sa second function natin, magiging closed circle yung gagamitin natin. Tapos kapag 2, so lahat ng interval mo na pagtitinginan dito sa x greater than or equal to 1 ay itong portion na to, up to positive infinity. So, pwede mo nang piliin tong 2. So, kapag sinapitot mo yung 2 dito sa x squared, ilan siya? 2 squared or 4. So, 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay? And so on, kapag 3 naman, magiging 3 squared or 9. So, around 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 dito. And then, pwede mo nang i-connect yung parabola. Okay? So, parang ganito yung graph niya, ba? Line plus parabola. Which is a piecewise function. Okay? Next, we have, let h be the function defined by h of x is equal to x plus 3 if x is not equal to 3 and x if x is equal to 3. Okay, so kung mapapansin nyo, piecewise pa rin siya. Tapos, meron tayong dalawang function na parehong linear. Yung isa takes the form mx plus b, tapos yung isa identity. Kaso may ginaiba tayo dito sa interval of x. Wala tayong less than or greater than symbol. Which is ito lang, yung not equal tsaka equal. So, ibig sabihin lang nito, kapag daw, if x is not equal to 3, lahat ng x ay pwede maliban sa 3. So, therefore, pwedeng 2, 1, pwedeng 2, 1, 0, negative 1, and so on. Pwedeng 4, 2, 4, 5, 6, 7, and so on. Huwag lang yung negative 3. Tapos, kapag dito naman sa pangalawa, x mo lang daw ay 3. So, sa 3 mo lang, pwedeng magamit ng value na x, which is ito. Okay, so try natin i-plot. So, dito muna tayo sa x plus 3. So, lagi kapag meron tayong hindi include doon sa uh, domain natin or x, ipa-plot pa rin natin siya. Kaso, dapat meron siyang open circle. So, plot natin kapag 3, gamit ito. 
So, kapag 3 daw yung x natin, ano yung value natin nung h of x? So, tawag mo, 3 plus 3, right? Which is 6. So, saan yun? 1, 2, 3, tapos 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, dito. Kaso, dapat open circle kasi not equal to 3 siya. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Sorry. So, dapat saan siya? 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Kasi 3 plus 3 is 6. So, dapat open circle kasi hindi siya kasama. So, ipaplot lang natin. Pero, dapat meron siyang open circle. Tapos, pwede nyo nang iplot yung other point. So, ba pwede naman dito yung 2, 4. So, plot nyo yung 2. Kapag x mo ay 2, ano value ni h of x? So, 2 plus 3 is 5. So, 2, comma, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Ito. This time, solid na. Or closed circle na kasi inclusive na siya. Tapos kapag 4, 4 naman, 4 plus 3 is 7. So, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So, therefore, para na siyang line na ganito. Itong point na to, hindi kasama. Parang ganyan yung itsura niyan. Tapos, ito namang if x is equal to 3, kapag daw value mo naman ay 3, 3 lang. So, close, close circle lang gagamitin mo kasi inclusive eh. Equal daw sa 3. Ano daw value nung h of x mo? Equal siya sa x din. So, therefore, pag sinapsitot mo si 3 na x dito sa value nung h of x, which is x, 3 din yung value. So, therefore, we have the point 3, comma 3. So, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. So, ito. So, ito yung graph nung piecewise function natin na h of x. So, itong isang line na to, na merong not inclusive na point na to, tapos isang point na outside dun sa line na 3, comma 3. Okay? Next, we have, let f be the function defined by f of x is equal to x minus 1 if x is less than 3, equals 5 if x is equal to 3, and 2x plus 1 if x is greater than 3. Okay, so meron tayong tatlong sub-function na merong tatlong sub-interval. So, dito muna tayo sa x is less than 3. Ang magiging value ng f of x natin ay x minus 1. So, gamit tayong red color. So, for this interval, dahil walang underline yung less than symbol natin, not inclusive yung 3. So, ipat muna natin yung value nung f of x natin kapag x is 3, which is not inclusive. So, ito yung gagamitin natin, x minus 1, right? So, pag sinapsitot nyo yung 3, we have 3 minus 1 is... 2. So, meron kang point na 3, comma 2. So, saan yon 1, 2, 3. Then, 1, 2. So, dapat open circle. Kasi hindi siya inclusive. Let's say, pili pa kayo ng point within this interval. X less than 3 pa baba yun, diba? So, let's say 2. So, 2 minus 1 is 1. So, meron kang point na 2, comma 1. So, 1, 2, and then 1. So, this time, solid na siya. Kasi inclusive na siya. Let's say, 1 naman. Kapag 1, 1 minus 1 is 0. So, 1 comma 0. So, dito. And then, pwede nyo nang i-connect yung line na to, extending infinitely pababa. Okay? Next. Dito na tayo sa 5 naman. So, constant function siya. So, kapag daw x mo ay 3, so this time, isa lang yung value mo. Isang value lang na sa interval na to, which is 3 lang. Ang value niya daw ay 5. So, parang point lang yan. So, gamit tayo ng green. So, saan yung 3, comma, 5? Kasi kapag 3 mo raw ay x, kapag x mo raw ay 3, value mo ay 5. So, may point ka na 3, comma, 5. So, 1, 1, 2, 3, tapos 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, ito. Okay. Next, punta tayo sa third sub-function, 2x plus 1. So, gamit tayo yung blue. So, kapag x mo raw ay greater than 3. So, wala ulit tayong line underneath, so not inclusive. So, plot muna natin kapag x is 3. Ano magiging value natin ng f of x? So, substitute. So, 2 times 3 is 6 plus 1 is 7. So, therefore, meron kang 3 comma 7. So, saan yun? 1, 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So, ito. Open circle din kasi not inclusive yung 3. Sa interval na to, dito sa pataas na interval na to, up to positive infinity. Next, pili ko, pili ko ulit isang point. Let's say 4 naman. So, substitute mo yung 4 dito. So, 2 times 4 plus 1 is 8 plus 1 or 9. So, saan yun? So, 1, 2, 3, 4. Then, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So, dito. This time, solid na siya kasi inclusive na siya dun sa interval. 
Then, isa pa. Let's say 5. So, pag sinasagot nyo yung 5 dito, 2 times 5 plus 1 is 10 plus 1 is 11. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So, dito. So, ngayon, pwede nyo nang i-connect itong line na to, extending this time infinitely pataas. Okay. So, parang ito yung nabuo nyo yung graph. Kaya nyo yung itsura. Right? So, piecewise function. Okay? Okay, so I think that's it for this topic, types and graphs of functions. So, mahalaga na alam nyo yung different types at kung paano mag-graph ng function kasi gamitin nyo yun kapag nag-analyze kayo ng isang problem, particularly let's say sa limits or sa derivatives of function sa calculus. Particularly itong piecewise function kasi gagamitin natin to kapag nag-aral tayo ng limit sa ka-derivative sa calculus. Okay? So, sana ay may natutunan kayo sa video na to at maraming salamat sa panonood.